All right, Shalom. Well, first and foremost, I'm going to give our praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukakadash. That we're honest today, I was a prosperous, great millstone, and time your truth and rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the Ikem out there, scattered abroad to the four corners of the earth, that serve in the truth and not true sincerity. To I say, Shalom. Well. As a brother in the Bible, coming to you another video in the spirit. And uh, the topic of this video is basically going to be about how. So, like it, give me one minute. Yeah, the topic of this video is basically going to be about how all we're going to have in the end is our faith, okay? And that's very important because when things start getting rough and things start really hitting the fan, you know, all we're going to have to rely on is our faith. And our faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, the faith in these scriptures, you know, the faith in the Lord's words. And we're going to have to stand on that. And the Lord is going to test us, okay? He's gonna definitely test us to see are we gonna are we gonna um are we gonna break? You know, are we gonna stand on are we gonna stand on the things and rely on the things that we learn? Are we gonna rely on Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai? Or are we gonna break? Are we gonna fold? And we can't do that. Okay, that's why we have to take this time to make sure that we're building ourselves up and armoring ourselves with this wisdom and knowledge and understanding because it's all we're gonna have in those times, okay? Which is our faith. You know, we don't know what's gonna happen, you know, in, in the times to come. You know, everything is not going to be accessible as it is now. You know, we may not have accessible to our Bibles. We may not have accessible to the Internet. You know, the family of the word is coming. So, you know, so we have to make sure that we're we're instilling everything inside of us as far as it's truth as much as we can. And not take this time for granted because you don't want to be out here and you don't want to be out here. Well, we're, you know, we're still going to have questions, you know, but you don't want to be out here with a lot of questions where we're now you're wavering. You know, you don't want to you don't want to be wavering in this thing. You want to make sure that you have um, secured a solid foundation so you can be able to withstand in the days that are to come. Uh, I'm going to grab this scripture. This is a uh, Hebrews 11 and one. It says now faith is a sub substance of things hoped for. So like the evidence of things not seen, con. So that's basically what the definition of faith is. You know, things that are the evidence of things that are not seen. You know, it's we're in a time now where we haven't fully seen the miracles that Yahweh Shah is going to do for us. But what we have to believe that He's going to do. Them. We have to have faith that the Lord is going to do those things. Okay, and He will. You know, as long as you have that faith. But if you don't, then the Lord is not. Why would the Lord provide for somebody who doesn't truly believe in him? That doesn't make sense. OK, well, we don't need the Lord to perform miracles or we don't need the Lord to 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 show us wonders to have faith. Of course, when we are shown signs, you know, that does increase our faith because that's the purpose of those signs. But we don't we don't we don't need that. That's not what we're relying on to have just to to believe on your how Shem Yahweh Shah. We believe on your how Shem Yahweh we believe on Yahweh by Shem Shah because we want to. We believe on the Lord because He has given us a spirit to believe on Him. Okay. I'm gonna grab this. This is a Second Corinthians five and seven. It says, "For we walk by faith and not by sight." Kind. That's 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 how you should be conducting yourself. You know, you should be walking by faith. You know, we don't like I was just saying. We don't need to see. Things just to believe on Yahweh Shem Shah. The Lord has shown enough, you know, now for you to sh for you to believe on Him. Okay, the fact that we even are able to understand these scriptures, to understand, to have this knowledge, you know, to be able to to break down these scriptures, is it should be a faith booster in itself. Okay, and and the Lord doesn't give this to everybody. And you can see that. Okay, the the fact that the Lord allows us to 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 get our daily bread, you know the the you know I'm pretty sure everybody has a, a testimony where they can tell it's a time where you probably was in a situation where you ain't where you got out of it and it was nothing but the Lord and the Lord did that little act to 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 boost your faith because we're gonna need it in the times that we're coming into it's gonna get real bad out here. JT is real and it's coming. It's going to happen. And all we're gonna have is our faith. We're gonna be put in situations where we gonna need we we gonna need can only person who can deliver us is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So you have to you have to truly believe that in that. You have to.
Because that, that's their salvation. You have to believe that the Lord is going to save us from this place. You have to. Other than that, you're wasting your time. And you're wasting the Lord's time. Um, this is 1 Corinthians 10 and uh, 13. It says, There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But Yahweh is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Con, you have to believe scriptures like this, okay? You know, when you're out here probably going through what you're going through and you you don't think you can get through it, you know, you think it's too much. That's not true, okay? It's a test. You know, the Lord is not going to put more on your plate that you can handle, okay? But you have to believe that, okay? You have to you have to understand it's a test. You have to have, to, you have, to have faith that the Lord is going to get you through it, okay? Especially... Like I'm going to keep saying, the times we're coming into, okay, we we haven't. It's going. It's going. The scriptures say a time of trouble that has never seen, been seen before. So it's going to be a lot of shit that we have never experienced that we're going to go through, okay. And the Lord, and if we're going through it, the Lord has us going through that, and He's going to provide. Uh, he's going to provide a way for us to get out of it. And it's just that simple. It's not no if and buts about it. That's just how that's just that's just how strong faith you have to have in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and that's why you have to get into these scriptures and read about these um these events and these stories, these accounts that have happened. How the Lord has has delivered his men and the, how the Lord has has done miracles for people. Okay, the, these scriptures are in itself are faith boosters. Okay. That like we have enough. Where where our faith should be, where you 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 have we have enough where our faith should should not waver in Yahweh Shemel Shah just from these scriptures. Um, I'm gonna come over here. Uh, to Habakkuk two and four, it says, "Behold, his soul." which is lifted up, is not upright in him. That's talking about Esau, Edom. But it says, but the just shall live by faith, kind. So the just shall live by faith. That's what we live by. You know, we, we don't go out here worrying too much. At least I don't, you know. Whatever whatever I go through or whatever obstacles I have, whatever worries I have, I just I just have faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shot that he's going to get me through it. it look, the scripture's talking about cash or burden... Uh, on the Lord. So you, you have to rely on Yahweh Shem Yahweh We have to because that's our power. You know, that's our power source. That's what's going to get us through, through the things that we're going through. Nothing else. Nothing we do on our own is is, is self will. Okay? The Lord allows it to happen. We don't make anything pop by ourselves unless Yahweh Shem Yahweh says says for it to pop. And it's just that simple. I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to grab a point. This is Matthew 6 and uh, 30. It says, Wherefore, if your how will so clothe the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow it casts into an oven, shall he not much more clothe you of ye of little faith? Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat or what shall we drink? Or where, the, where shall, shall we be clothed? Con. So if you read up, you'll get the the full story of, of what's being said, but basically don't worry about, you know, when how the Lord is gonna provide for us, okay? Don't 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 think about it. You know, we can't we can't have little faith. Okay, we can't be like we can't be like those our people was in, in the when the Lord delivered us from Egypt, saying that the Lord brought us out here in the desert to die. We can't have that type of mindset. We have to have, whatever journey that the Lord has us going through you have to have faith in it. Okay? You have to believe that the Lord 
It's going to, whatever it is, it's the Lord's will. That's And that's just how you have to be. Okay? I like the scripture say, our, our ways are not, are his ways. Our thoughts are not his thoughts. Okay? We can't try to think like Yahweh. Because it, it, it's impossible. He's on a whole nother level than us. So all you got to do is do your part. Do your part, and the Lord's going to do his. You know, it's the exchange. You know, you do something for the Lord, the Lord's going to do something for you. That's why we're out here doing our work while we can. Don't take this time for granted. Because that's how you're going to be safe. Uh, let me grab this real quick so I can. This is um second Ezra nine and seven. It says, And everyone that shall be saved and sh and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have ye have believed kind. So the ones who are gonna be saved are gonna be saved from what? Yeah, their faith, but by their works as well. Faith and works go hand in hand. Okay, you doing the work show shows that you have faith. Okay. Shows that you have faith in Yahweh about your man shot. You're not just out here doing the work for no reason. At least, at least I hope not. Because you're not fooling nobody but yourself. The Lord knows who 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 who's who's sincere in this thing and who not. The Lord knows who's gonna last at the end of the thing and who not. We just hoping to be a part of that number. And that's all we can ask for. But we know that it's not just gonna come. We know that we have to work for it. So what? We have to prove what we have to prove ourselves. And that's what the Lord wants us to do. The Lord is gonna test us. And we and we wouldn't be able to, to 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 stand at the end of this thing and say that we overcame. Uh I'm gonna grab this last precept and I'm gonna close off. This is Second Timothy four and seven. It says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Con. And that's when we'll, that's what we want to be able to say at the end of this thing. We want to say that we fought the good fight. We want to say that we finished our course. We want to say that we kept the faith. That we never wavered in this thing. You know, that, that we endured to the end. And that we overcame. That we got the victory. That's what we want to be able to say that we did. Okay. And that's going to be very special. Because this, that's not for everybody. Everybody's not going to be able to say that. Okay, but we want to be we want to be the ones who who are able to to say that we endure to the end, that we kept the faith. So we got to continue to keep our faith. You know, things are gonna get real. You know, we're gonna see a lot of things. You know, but we cannot let those things waver us. You know, no matter what's going on, no matter what nobody says, what these other camps say, no matter no matter what's going on. Just keep the faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahshua. I continue to pray, pray, to pray to the Lord to keep you in the faith. Pray to the Lord to increase your faith. You know, because we're gonna need it. Because and 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 when it's all said and done, at the end of the day, all we have is Yahweh by Shem Yahshua. So Lord, when this video is edifying, I'm gonna close out by giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahshua by Shem Rakadash Shalom.